All right, everybody. God bless you. Welcome to the ministry. What do you think? Well, there's the before and after. Yes, yes, yes. We have got some stain going on these tables that I built. I'm feeling inspired and motivated at the moment to get these finished. And as you can see, the wood is just popping. It's just popping. And that is all reclaimed pallet wood. As you can see, I'll show you the top. And look at that. Okay, you guys, there's a little before and a little, a little before. And we'll show you a little after when we're done. God bless you. Thanks for coming to the ministry. See you soon. Go. Okay, you guys, we have stained the bottom half of these of this table. And now what we're going to do is stain the top half. And you, my friends, are going to join me. So I have espresso, mini wax, min wax uh, espresso stain. And what we want to do is just saturate that wood, right? We want to get it on that wood and we want to rub it around. Rub it around, get it into the wood. And we'll go little by little, little section by section, and then we'll wipe it off. Some people do it different. Some people uh, put it on with different, different uh, types of cloth, brushes. You can do all kinds of different uh, application methods with stain. My preferred method is to get a rag wet, spread it around, and then when you got a good section done there, which we're pretty close to, we're gonna get one little 12 foot by 24 inch section here done. And then what you do is you take your other rag and you take and you wipe that off. Now you can leave it on if you want it darker or take it off or keep wiping for, for lighter, but the idea is to let that stain soak into the wood a little bit and then take it right back off. And then you just work your way on down. So you're gonna stay with me the whole, the whole, the whole section, the whole table rather. I'm gonna, this is gonna be probably a five or six minute video. But when we're done with staining, we're gonna apply a poly or a lacquer a lacquer finish. Now that's going to take a couple of couple of coats. It's going to take a couple applications of that, but that's going to give us our shimmer, our shine when we're all said and done here. And I hope I don't run out of stain. So I might try to conserve a little bit as we go because I still have the drawers to do. So that means two two drawers. This stain isn't too bad. It's pretty readily available. I could probably just go up to the hardware store and get some if I really needed to. I think I'll be okay, but this is when you want to start wiping it off. It's soaked in. It's had a chance to absorb and to set into that wood. So as we go here, you're going to see this, this reclaimed, this is reclaimed pallet wood. This is, a, this is all wood from pallets that I uh, obtained out in the field or at my last uh, place of employment where I was like a, a, a warehouse, a forklift driver. And so I was able to get access to all kinds of long pallets. And so when I use the legs, I use four by fours for the legs that I get off the pallets, the big ones, 10 foot, 12 foot pallets. And then I use I use their uh, the crossboard runners on a pallet for the top here, as you can see. And it takes a pretty good size pallet to get thick boards like this. So you gotta kind of be mindful when you're picking out pallets and what you're gonna be able to build. I picked some pretty big pallets, so I knew I was gonna be able to build some pretty big furniture. So I'm hoping at the end of this, um, I'll be able to sell these pieces for, yeah. You know, if, they, if, if, if somebody bought these tables individually, I would say probably, 200, two and a quarter to 250, somewhere in there per table. But I'll sell it as a set and I'll probably give the person a deal and it'll probably be a, around like $500 for the whole set. So instead of buying them individually, but if I end up having to sell them individually, I will have to uh, raise the price. But this is all awesome, awesome, awesome product. I take a lot of pride in my work. I take a lot of time and uh, energy to make sure that whatever is done is done right. I got everything glued and screwed and clamped and ready to, for a lifetime of use, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and stain the sides and then 
I'm going to get on with the, with, the, with the process. I'm going to flip it over and stay in the bottom and get the drawers. So I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. This is easy stuff. Easy, easy stuff to do. If you have any questions, if you want to learn how to do it, I have some videos, past, past videos, but I'm always willing to, to show people more of, of how to do these things. So if you're interested, email me at irishguyjg at yahoo.com. Uh, the ministry thanks you for, ha for hanging out and joining us. I appreciate it. God bless you all.